Hey everyone, uh, Smarty here with Chris. I managed to drag him out of the cellar this afternoon on a beautiful October sunny day. Could be one of the last of uh, remaining good weather days, but we're here to talk about an exciting uh, wine we're gonna be uh, releasing here. And um, it's kind of gonna be kind of a bit of a surprise for people. Uh, when, when we started back in 2010, we made four wines. Three of them you can probably recite off the top of your head. Sestina, Arnaud, and then Gravira. But there was a fourth wine in there, and it was called Parapine. And after that first vintage in 2010, it disappeared. What can you tell me about that first Parapine, Chris? Well, yeah, I mean, that first year I just wanted to give the give the Avenia as many blending options as possible to make the best wines. And in Bordeaux, that makes sense. You have the Sestina that you make first, and uh, then you can declassify the rest of the Gravira. But on the, on the Rhone side, it's not so easy. So what happened was Dick Boucher was nice enough to give us his three oldest blocks of wine. And we also experimented with a little bit from Force Majeure Vineyard um, with Ryan Johnson. And throughout the blending trials, I made the Arno kind of was a lot like it is still today um, with some minor changes along the way. And so we had a little bit more of the Boucher Syrah and we had Force Majeure Syrah and put them together and that was Parapine. What about the name? Parapine. Well, by the time we bottled it, I we knew that we weren't gonna make another one. So uh, anytime soon, I guess. Spoiler alert. Uh, and and um, so we named it after the ghost that was in our house that we had recently bought back then. Wow. Which has since vacated, luckily. Yeah. Phew. Well, like ghosts and things that disappear, it's the time of the year for things to come back. And so we're pretty excited to announce that Parapine is back but it's taking a whole new form this time. The 2018 Parapine is... Grenache this year. Grenache. Yeah, 2018 was just a great year for Grenache. Um, you know, we, we had enough to not only make the Justine, but we had some left over and, um, that we were experimenting with and, and we thought it would make a nice one-time maybe bottling. One-time bottling, fantastic. Well. We know Grenache in Washington State has really been coming on strong. Um, we've been doing our Justine Rhone blend, which has had a significant portion of Grenache over the years, but it was kind of fun this year when we had six or seven extra barrels of Grenache, and rather than uh, just make it disappear, magically, we says we'll put it in a bottle. And uh, we're pretty excited about this wine. What do you think, Chris? What, what do you Definitely. get out of this? Um, well, as compared to Justine, which has kind of more of that Old world. I mean, you see, let's go, maybe a little more fruit forward, a little big. Yeah. Mm. That's big good. and broad for for Grenache, but kind of has some nice fruit character to it. I think it's a delicious, you know, fantastic. Middle age, but I think it's made to be really drunk, drunk now. Even. Well, this is uh, it's an exciting wine. It's a, it's a great deal. We're going to price it at thirty dollars a bottle, and um, you know, it's on sale now. And uh, we only made one hundred fifty cases, so we think it's going to go fast. So if you're looking for a fantastic New World Grenache with a lot of great flavor and aromas. Parapine has reappeared just for you. Thanks, Chris. Hey, and thanks for everything you do. Thank Congratulations you. on another great harvest. I know you got another three or four weeks to go. Yeah, I'm in, I'm in late season form, which is like <laughs> mid season form, but with more pain. There you go. All right. <laughs> well, thanks everyone for your support and keep your eyes open for parapine appearing soon on your shelves and in your cellars. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers.